Hi, this is Dennis Surgent. Welcome to the next phase of our learning about PDSAs, and that's how to use the PDSA template. This opportunity to use the PDSA template is a way to link your PDSA to the aim of your organization. So why use this PDSA template? We've referred before to the PDSA as the heartbeat of organizational performance, and the template helps you document your thinking in just a few minutes. We've incorporated the model for improvement and the evidence of improvement questions in that template in order to help you think through our theory and our plan. A quick reminder, the theory of improvement that you create, you have an idea about what would be an improvement. And the model for improvement has three questions that link your theory to a test, a scientific test, to get the evidence and learn if it works or if it doesn't work. The model for improvement questions start with, what are we trying to accomplish? This is very much about the aim of your theory. The second question is, how will we know that we've made a change that actually is an improvement? It gets to the measurement capacity of what you plan to do. How do you measure improvement? And the third question is, what changes could we make that would lead to improvement? And once we've clarified the aim, we can go test our theory with each discipline step of this cycle. And we can repeat the cycle as often as we need to until we have the results that we need that are in essence an improvement or several improvements in a process. Once we've executed the plan, do, study, act cycle, we have an opportunity to look at the results of that PDSA cycle in the evidence of improvement. Those questions are also included within the template. Let's take a look at the PDSA template. It's a Microsoft Word document, and it's an opportunity to gather your basic information together to provide a context of the PDSA to the system, also to connect our PDSA to our theory and the aim. There's space to document our plan as well as the do, study, and act phases. And when we replace the questions with our answers in each of the four phases, we will have completed the first and second and third cycles of learning and improvement. We can continue this process until we've reached our aim. Let's look at the context questions. We can change the blue and bolded title, make it fit our specific theory we're going to test. We can also change the logo, and we can begin to answer these context questions here while keeping the blue and bold headings. We look for context in our answers. In this case, we changed the title. We did not change the logo, but you could certainly do that. We answered each of the questions, and we kept the blue and bold headings. We can now think about how this aim supports the system. Let's take a look at the plan section. Here's where we detail our plan changes at a high level. We answer this high level question to describe the change to be tested. And then we spell out more specific details by answering the four remaining questions. In our case, we detailed our plan changes at a high level. We spelled out more specific details as described by those questions, and we prepared to execute. Next, let's think about our progress. We've had to think about our theory of improvement in order to fill out the context. This connects our PDSA to the aim of the system. And we've also had to think about our plan in order to fill out the plan portion of the template. So now what do we do? Well, we begin to implement the do phase. We do what we said we'd do. We engage the team members in the process. We track our progress and the obstacles, and we use the template to tell the story of this phase. This telling of the story is how we discipline ourselves to write down what it is we thought we would do, what we did, and then the discipline is that when we have the paper record staring us in the face, we don't get to change our mind and say, oh, well, I really intended to get what I received. It's an opportunity to keep ourselves really focused on what did we think and what did we learn. So the story of the do phase is exactly what we said before, 
for our other phase, we simply answer the questions by we did what we said we'd do, we engaged the team, we tracked our progress, we determined the obstacles, and we tell this in the story of the do phase. So now what's next? What do we study? Well, we planned what we said we'd do, we did it, and now we want to take the evidence of our experiment and start studying it. What do we do next? Well, when we study what happened, we compare what happened to what we expected to happen, and we answer the template questions. We fill in the answers in the template, and it's just a simple matter of taking the non-bolded text and replacing it with our answer. The act phase comes next, and this is where we decide what we learned about our theory. By the discipline of recording our theory and writing, by thinking and acting in this template, we've documented what we've got as evidence. We have evidence of our work and our learning what did work and what did not. It's an opportunity now for us to complete the cycle, and really the only way to fail is to not complete the PDSA cycle. It's fundamental to learning and fundamental to improvement. It breaks the status quo. This is our opportunity to decide. We prove whether our theory worked and decide what changes to make. We get to decide what we improved by our theory and learn what did not work. We have now the evidence of improvement or learning or sometimes both. And before we spend the time and effort to spread our theory any further, we've gotten the first piece of information that tells us whether our theory is correct. This is scientific capability. It is scientific improvement. It's not speculation. It's not suspicion not superstition, certainly not the status quo way of managing. It's not about gut feel, seat of the pants, or other baloney. It's an opportunity for us to have evidence. So what are we waiting for? I want to thank you for your interest. We have provided this video to you for the use. You're welcome to download the template and use it at your leisure or better yet, to a higher purpose for improvement in learning in your organization. Thank you very much. You're welcome to call me or write me at any time. Have a great day.